back here at the muddy lot. Not that nothing ain't muddy these days. <clears throat> that time right before when the cold weather comes where it's cold and rainy and snowy and then warm and gets you all sorts of watery mud everywhere. Sunday morning, not really sure what we're doing yet today. Sounds like we're playing with the dozer first thing in the morning. Which is always a good way to start the morning. A cup of coffee, antique dozer, push the mud around. Can't complain about that. <clears throat> good running little machine, I tell you. Starts every time. So, I'm not sure what we're doing today. We might be doing some firewood. But we were supposed to be moving the skitter over and starting work, but like I was saying, it's muddy. There's really nothing we can start without getting everything covered in mud. So we're gonna probably have a look at the skitter. I was having a problem getting it running yesterday. Didn't want to start. <clears throat> I think it has something to do with the coil ignition switch. Uh, is not allowing power to it consistently. And we might get us a repair video out of this one. Those are always fun. Get covered in grease instead of mud. I don't know which is worse. I almost think I'll take the mud over the grease. Well, let's make way over here. We're all getting runs over. Take the way through the woods here. I think I see Jeffrey right there. Jeffrey, I see you. I'm gonna pretend I'm a Sasquatch. Ah, prickers! What have I done? What have I done? I'm stuck in prickers! I don't know! Ah, ah. Ah, fucking hate prickers. Oh, they got sneaking up. Nothing wants to fucking work anymore. Bunch of lazy ass machinery around here, man. Morning, Jeffrey. Random hero. Oh, you know where I, I know where I heard that from before. I don't know. I just randomly gave you the. So we're looking around at Lowe's or Home Depot up in Clay to uh, a couple of days ago to try to find uh, what you wanted, what would look good for itself. We ended up settling on a six foot by six inch thick by three inch thick slab of uh, live edge hemlock. Do you want to guess how much it costs? The fifty fucking dollars for three pieces of firewood. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're in the wrong fucking business, dude. We need to be taking these random weird pieces of wood and making them into into dude, fucking furniture. Dude, I, I've I've sent him pictures of some of the shit that we sell, like little tiny end cuts and shit, as like coasters and um, like base base plates for painting or something like that, and they sell it for like five six dollars a, a piece. Yeah. And it, it's like and it's like, dude, for one thing. Or they'll sell blocks. Yeah, a yeah. A chunk of block that's got a couple saw marks in it yep. for like fucking ten bucks, fifteen bucks. Well, the, the yep. quick burning things. The, what they're, uh, what you're buying is the convenient because I can't just go jelly cans off. Oh, I got it. I want to do this side. Come on. Be very careful. Things can fall. Yeah, I was gonna say you want to put some underneath this. <laughs> Ain't really got nothing to put on drip. Chunk of firewood. Chunk of road right here. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the tail. Fuck shit! What's in there? Is there any wedges in there? No. Oh, I see in there. Some wood. Oh, oh it's got wood, wood down there. That's nice. Deep cycle. Oh, that's not even the right kind of battery. How's the battery someone threw in it? Put that fucking marine battery. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it worked. Holds more cold cranking amps. No, let's see, it was 300. That's only 300 cold cranks. Really? Okay, cranking amps is 735. Yeah, mine's 730 the one I bought. I <laughs> wanted to get 1,000, but they don't have them. Yeah. What? Tip it over. Just don't lose these nuts on the sides. So we got here 
there's some nasty greasy positive wire we're gonna have to fix that Going on an adventure. Well, we're back. Got us some new ignition coil. Take or, two. Wait, uh, ignition switch. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and splice that song bitch in there. So we're gonna take the fit in here. We're gonna Jerry yeah, cut that right off because I think there's plenty of slack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the conductors in there still. Right. And we got just a little bit of wire. You don't want to get carried away. Just want enough. Still almost a little bit too long, but it's fine. These are the way to go for crimpers. That's what you want. You got the leverage to really get the fucking thing on there. <laughs> oh, dude, I've had so many crimps come apart. I think I should pinch it all the way. Ow. That's 420. Oh. Yep, 420. It's, it's right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's gonna start crying. My side. My my hero. <laughs> Random hero, guys. That's mm -hmm. where it comes from. Mm -hmm. The savior of coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it like that. This ain't gonna tighten down all the way. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. Don't pull it. Well, you weren't re-inking on the right one. All right, back to that now. Yep. Back. Now remember, these washers got to be on the outside, do Yep. Is that clear that clutch thingy? What we ought to do is get the uh, positive hooked up and turn the key over and then just kind of touch the negative on there and make sure we don't get any scary arcs first. Make, just in just in case any of that shit's wired wrong. You know, you know I'd I'd, say that. Hey, safety first, man. I mean, I didn't have any issues with my truck, but I still, you just touch it and make sure you don't go bip, 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 bip. Safety is my middle name. Hey, this one's painted black still. Where's your negative? It's right over here. Oh, positive's on. Positive's on? Yeah, it's on the battery. It's on the battery? That's a good place for it. Shh. Good. 
Hey, you know, mechanic work is dirty. This is probably the dirtiest fucking machine I've ever worked on, for sure. And I've worked on some fucking disgusting machinery. It's just like with this one, you always find a spot on it that's fucking greasy. <laughs> I mean, if we're not careful, we'll have the fucking United States Army over here <laughs> declaring freedom on this fucking skitter. <laughs> this skitter needs freedom. Oh, man. I'll have to cut that out. Yeah, all the big old skitter or this giant machine and got this tiny ass space here. Oh, look at that good old. Hi, guys. Okay, let's see. I get the camera out of the belly of the skitter. Well, we're going to give her a try here, see what happens. Yay. Go, Tommy Tron, go. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, dude. I'm not losing voltage now. It is dropping down a lot, though, 9 volts. So who knows how dead that battery is? You're jumping off. Of Man, like she does want no. to. No, no, no. She wants to fire. She will. She's smoking like an old furnace. <laughs> Oh. Ain't smoking no more. You gotta take that side panel off. This? Yeah, our issue's in there. Sorta. Of. Sorta of working. So we got one of those scenarios where there's multiple issues. Shh. Don't jinx us. I know. Well, that's fine. We have one. You figure out it's like fixing a fixing a leaky boat, you know? Yeah. You plug the holes until eventually you're floating down, you're going to Mexico. Well, we're still having a hard time getting the skitter to start here. We're gonna see if we can't just blow it up. Still no smoke. I mean, I know I keep on barking up the supply pump, the lift pump tree, but you think we could test its operation by taking that line off of the pump and putting it into a uh, bucket of some kind. Well, I'm gonna go see if I can find a soda bottle or something. That's a tall glass of water right there. <laughs> uh, oh, hi there. That don't poor. seem right. Huh? That's poor. That don't that's seem right. No, that's poor. That's the line, maybe? No, it's a lift pump. All right, now we're, we're gonna suck and blow stuff now. This is all it is, testing out problems and then keep going down the line. Oh, it's like a broken, it's like a weak machine. You just gotta find the link that's broken. Yep. Oh, a pair of underwears over here with the zipper on. <laughs> yeah, somebody had a good night. Yeah, somebody coming here and fucking... That's <laughs> where the dildo came from, bro. I know, right? So somebody's coming down in here in your fucking property and uh, using it for sex, man. <laughs> oh, man. There's some fucking... Teenage Playboy out there using your uh, your, your landing. Oh, I can hear it blowing bubbles in there. It wasn't at first. Yeah. Dude, it barely. And then I, as hard as I could, and all of a sudden I felt it just go. Yeah. Max got it. Yep. Max got it. Let's see. Yeah, I sucked diesel up into my mouth. Does that mean That's I'm gonna live another hole. 20 years? Probably. Are you ready, mister? I got the bottle in hand, yeah. Take two. Take two. But I mean, it's getting bigger spurts out. Now we're dying, though. All right. Trying to run on the Yeah, air. that's what I was just gonna say. It was for, for a good second and then it just stopped. It's just not getting enough fuel or the pump finally shit out. See the lift pump or injector pump. One of the two is shit out. Yeah. 
Oh, guys, if you want to help us get this thing straightened out, give us a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe, but get that bell on too. Get the bell on. I think we're at a dead end for this. We need to go find some specialty parts. To be continued. Oh, All right, guys. We feel kind of silly, but we just discovered something. On this, I made it work right. Oh, it's down right, again. But it was making the splitter not want, the skitter not want to run. So we're gonna check our flow again and see if that made some kind of difference. Looks like it's definitely a difference in flow. I'm not sure what the fuck that does. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. Hook it back up. Time.